Hi everybody, my name is Louis Marie Fardet. So I'm working with the Houston Symphony and I'm playing uh, as a fourth chair since this wonderful ensemble since five years ago. So for me, it was very important to practice the etudes since I was a young student to build up my technique. And what I like about practicing the Dupont, you are practicing the Dupont with the style of the 18th century, um, which is uh, in the middle of uh, the, classis, the classicism period. So um, let's try to touch up a little bit on the style at the beginning. So the difference with the more romantic style uh, with this composer, I think you want to trim a little bit some, some extra length on some notes. Uh, so you, you're not playing... Although I, I heard it play like that, but to my taste and to my humble opinion, the first note needs to be a little shortish and everything needs to be in general a little brushy. And if you noticed what I just did um, after playing the first note, every note, every two notes that have a slur, I lean into the first of the two notes and I lighten up the second note. So, so you don't need to play not so much like that but there is um, it's very it's very subtle you're surely not playing so, and light and, and mostly elegant. I like to use that the word for this piece. Um, I see that it's more elegant and so elegant you can see it's the opposite of heavy so etc. So um, I hope you you have a good idea of the style. Let's go straight to bar 24 and we'll practice rhythms. So the first rhythm I suggest we stop on the note we are going to shift to in order to challenge you a little uh, since this is the most challenging uh, note to get because in reality we are going to play fast. So let's let's um, uh, also when you stop on one note you have time to meditate and and think by anticipation about the four next note that you are going to play fast all in a row <laughs> Once you, you've done that with this rhythm, and of course, if uh, one of the shifts is out of tune, ta -la, ta -la, oh, it's really out of tune in the middle, you come back from the beginning. You come back from the, the beginning until you, you get that note in tune. Um, so, and uh, let's do while you stop a little longer on the first note. So I. <laughs> For me, it's almost uh, harder because it gives me almost too much time to think about the shift. And, and then when you, you start to, to have a doubt, okay, I'm going to be right. And if you notice, I think I was a little more in tune when, it was, when you have less time. But uh, that's why we have to try all the rhythm. Uh, you have to be able to, to focus on four notes in a row. <laughs> So 
if you really have a great issue with reaching that knot, uh, the knot you have to shift to, uh, maybe you can do a slide. Uh, so, and then you try until you feel uh, you arrive really into it. Okay, etc. And also you could practice both way if I think it could give you an extra comfort. And to feel exactly what uh, your finger ha has to do on the fingerboard. Although you, in reality your finger is going to move about uh, like a, like a, like a minor third but you won't hear the slide but just for practice you might have to play a way that you will hear carefully the slide so your ear can monitor where you need to stop because the slide will show you what pitch you are traveling with and then you stop when you hear the right note okay and uh, you can do that when you, you go down so same same kind of technique so now let's skip to measure 29 <laughs> Okay, from here we have the most difficult except from this first page, like this four bar. Actually you are going to stop on the on the first beat and on the third beat. So it's So and um, so, if you're really not as advanced as that uh, uh, in, in in that passage, I I suggest you play the thumb. You will play what the thumb is doing and that you don't hear. So uh, so let me explain. It, it, so. <laughs> I repeat the C because you don't when when you you play so you only play the second finger so we don't hear what what the thumb the thumb is moving with the whole hand but we don't hear what the thumb does but if you hear the thumb behind the finger that is playing the knot this might give you an extra information of on how your hand position need to be. Um, so. Watch out! Only half step uh, on this uh, this uh, thumb uh, swi uh, switch. Uh. So if it's not to to your satisfaction, the intonation just come back to the. Okay, for the extra challenge, you could also, it doesn't hurt to do it background, so... And then...
recapitulate it's good to to play everything in a row without stopping so so if you're not sure yet just play the whole thing but just slowly i think a lot of students lot a lot of students are, are missing the slow the slow playing uh, with long not it it doesn't accomplish anything but, but it, To have that sort of direction to toward the downbeat. Uh, so the, the the rhythm can give you time to organize in your head, and then once. Once it's become natural, then you will play everything uh, at tempo. Play at at the tempo you think you can play all the notes, and then gradually you may be able to to play at tempo eventually. But anyway, this is always the the slow practice. I can assure you that it's going to pay off. Okay, thank you for listening and. Um, Maybe see you for another tutorial some other day. Thank you.